Triumph Tiger 800 XR 2018 to 2021 review. Road going adventure bike. With the Triumph Tiger 800 XR, the Hinkley company haven't broken the mold. This isn't a huge step forward for the already excellent Tiger 800. It's smooth and more accessible, mainly due to new technology and riding aids. It's comfier than before thanks to a new seat, a larger manually adjustable screen, heated grips and bars, even cruise control. The new TFT dash, backlit switch gear and new graphics give it high level of spec for a middleweight adventure bike. The Tiger is so impressive it makes you wonder why you would want anything larger, especially when you consider that it's taking on pricier big capacity adventure bikes head-on at a tempting launch price of £12,050. Ride quality and brakes. New Brembo stoppers were strong enough and up for the job. The ABS is conventional and not lean sensitive but under heavy braking the 43mm new Showa forks offer excellent support and don't plummet into the road like some adventure bikes do. The handling is impressive, too, for this type of bike though at a quoted 208 kg dry with an estimated wet weight of around 230 kg the Tiger is certainly a middleweight and not a lightweight. The three-cylinder engine is the primary source of the kilos and is carried slightly high in the chassis end, while you'd never describe the Tiger as agile, but it's responsive yet stable. Engine At the heart of the Tiger is the sublime 800 cubic centimeters inline triple. For 2018, capacity remains the same, as do the majority of the internals. Triumph claimed they've optimized the engine, and it now features a shorter first gear to improve responsiveness and acceleration and a lighter exhaust with a better sound. Peak power of 94 brake horsepower and torque at 58 FTLB are identical to the previous model, however both peak slightly higher in the rev range, while Triumph will also be offering an A2 kit for all 800 models. Reliability and Build Quality on the top of the range model the level of finish and quality feel is premium. Brembo brakes, adjustable Showa suspension, multiple rider modes and rider aids, plus a full color dash gives the middleweight adventure bike a top-level feel. Our Triumph Tiger 800 owners reviews show nothing particularly concerning, although one buyer does state that the bike needs carefully looking after to avoid corrosion and wear. Value versus Rivals Triumph have catered for every budget, with the base model starting at just over £9,000, but it's very basic. The bike tested, the £12,050, when published, XRT is their premium model, it comes fully loaded but is nearly the same price as Triumph's Tiger 1200 starting at £12,400. There are four road models to choose from, all run a 19 inches front wheel and Metzeler Turrence rubber. Seat height are 810 to 830 unless otherwise stated. Equipment Triumph have made a large step forward with their electronic riding aids and technology and the new bike features up to six riding modes with a specific off-road pro setting for the XCA. Each mode changes the engine characteristics plus ABS and traction control intervention. You can also personalize and save each mode, for example removing the traction control TC, in sports mode.